Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Seven Links channel. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Robo Damashi car signed, the um, gun cannon detector. So, you know, uh, if you don't know where this came from, you obviously didn't watch the Unicorn series. I know the first time appearance is not in Unicorn. It was actually in a Zeta Gundam MS Fever uh, series. It was in red, but then uh, in the anime, it was showing up at the... At the uh what's that what's that space what's that uh base of the earth federation call i don't remember so it's in a unicorn gundam series in it show up in the anime so it doesn't matter if you don't know it's fine i'm just telling you that so unfortunately we don't have a hg version of this neither rg so i'm just gonna buy the roll that rg to have fun with you might say why don't you buy the rg 100 well because i don't like this i don't like the model to be that huge okay i like some small scale models and then <clears throat> now we look at the side here we can see that uh there's assignment there's model number height weight generator output uh rocket thrusters uh, sensor range material armor and then the weapons so the one thing that i like about the roll down sheet car sign box is they give you a a lot of details about these mobile suit and i absolutely love it but the back here the introduction is not doing such a good job so this is the uh, i believe this is like a comic or like a novel or original sketch version looks like and then this is the look at and then this is the car sign so the car sign is by the I don't know how do you say that name. I'm sorry, I can't read Japanese. But yeah, okay, let's put it this way. The Kazai means there's a lot of decals and is actually um, designed by the famous designer. So Katomi, I, I I don't know which one is that. Sorry. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it there. And now let's take out the box. So right now we can see a couple things. First, we can see decals here. I don't know is this. I don't know is this water slide or not, um, but anyway, we will just put it back in the back. And next up, we got the instruction menu. So it doesn't show you where to you put the decals. <laughs> so what's the point to give us the decals if you don't show us how do you like what do you where do you put it? Um, so we can see there's um there's some. Um, a little bit of details telling you to expand the articulation just one piece and then we have some hands option here look at the whole thing now we need to look at the whole thing first so give me a second i'm just gonna turn it off and now there we go so now let's see so 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 now we can see that this is the fist hand. Okay, this is the fist hand, and then we have extend, and then we have extend hand here, trigger hand, ex uh, open hand again, and then we have another hand that I don't know how to say that. Is that the is that the thing that you like? Is that the hand for the gunner to hold the cannon? And then now we're gonna take out the rival and take a look at it. So the rival is painted on the scope. Um, the details on it is pretty well done. Let's try this. It's not movable. Great. And it doesn't sand well. Look here. It didn't sand completely at the bottom. It didn't sand. Okay. Now, let's look at the backpack. So the backpack is obviously just push in and then... Oh, wow. <laughs> it's pretty soft and it's pretty easy to turn. Now that's the thing that I'm afraid because it's so soft and so easy to turn. I'm afraid it's like very sloppy because I, I literally turn it without any using using any strength at all. Now that's the thing to worry about because I don't know is it gonna be sloppy or not. Let's take out the let's take out the actual thing and look at it. Wow. I can already tell I can already tell the waist is I can tell the middle of the waist is pretty softly. Pretty pretty soft and pretty sloppy. This is a new part here, so the cannon here. Oh, you can move it. That's great. Now, the side here. Um, the whole thing is soft. The joint is very soft. Oh, not the legs. The legs the legs are fine. It's just the upper body is pretty soft. The, the joint is sloppy. It's pretty soft. It's pretty sloppy. 
I'm, I'm afraid that like it's gonna be it's, it's gonna not able to hold the weapon well hmm anyways let's look at let's not let's not focus on this too much let's uh jump straight into the review and we will have a look about how this uh car sign robot obviously works Right now, so let's look at the head first and then we will introduce the articulation and the details together. So first, the head uh, is very hard to move and you have you really have to push the head just to move it around. Personally, I don't really like the head. Uh, it's, it's not because of the colors, it's because of the design. Because I feel like the design of this is just doesn't feel the same as the gun cannon and I prefer and I personally would prefer the design of the gun cannon this one it looks a little bit weird it's a mixture between gun cannon and the Zaku's head for me and especially the part with the with the communication wire going at the back of the head uh, I understand what they try to do but it looks very weird on this head and it's just overall it just looks a little bit funny and a little bit of weird now let's take a look at the chest the chest is beautifully painted i don't see any flaws and it's centered pretty well on the chest the chest is uh just if you pull it up and you can extend the movement then you can move up and down for on the chest and slightly side to side as well and you can just push it back to lock the waist again i think it's a pretty good design so that you don't feel those sloppy ways like the normal Robo Um Overall though, I feel like it's pretty good and the feeling when you twist the waist is a slightly uncomfortable and slightly tight. So you might want to be a little bit careful when you try to twist the waist around. Now let's look at the hands. So the hands is a little weird. So first, uh, all, both of the shoulders, the little armor piece here is movable. The little gun barrel here is movable as well. So you can adjust to the position where you want the gun barrel. So, and then it got the exact same joint like the gun cannon. So it's a ball, it's a ball joint and it can lift up, of course. The ball, the bottom of the hand is very hard to twist. So because it's a large piece of armor on the arm, so you actually have to pull down in order just to move the arms but drilling there's a big piece of armor on the shoulder so you're not gonna have a lot of good articulation the maximum you can bend is slightly over 90 degrees and the top of the handle the top of the hand is not movable i believe because it's very tight and i try to turn it and it doesn't seem to work the back of the the back of the hand here, I I thought there was more movable piece, but it's actually not. The hands here, we have different hands option for you to choose. Right now, the one that I'm equipped is the fist hand. Of course, we have other free type of hands for you to change. So this time, the side skirt is different. You cannot move the side skirt. The side skirt is stuck with the legs, and the legs this time it. And on the side skirt, it looks like kind of like a missile or grenade design. I'm not really sure what it is because I barely know the MS. So I don't know on the side skirt, is it grenade or missiles? The front of the waist though, however, is there's a special mechanic that you can actually extend it and you can adjust it to the position where it, in the anime, it lays down and then stabilize the, stabilize the gun cannon detector shot and Frankly, I must say it's very hard to twist the joints back and I seriously oh my god Just give me a minute. It's very hard to twist the joint back right now. We fixed it now So so the legs can turn to the back can kick to the back can kick to the front pretty high And you can see there's some flaws under the feet some part some of the parts is not sanded well as you can see here some of the parts is not sanded well and then now we can we can barely kick to the side during that the side skirt is not really movable the whole the whole legs however is uh can bend about 90 degrees so not really not really exciting or anything like that and the legs down here is movable from the back side to side as well and then at the front of the feet is you can adjust the position this you can move down to like about a straight 90 degrees so i think the legs movement is pretty good it's just 
some part of the legs is not sanded well. Now we're going to take a look at the back of the gun plus. So as you can see, there's a lot of wires on the on the overall gun plus. So it kind of reminds me of the Mark II that I built a long time ago. So the XG rather than RG, they still give you this wire design. Uh, on the backpack though, uh, not much to say about it, just black, gray, and then, you know, very navy color. And then with a, with a green paint at the center of the backpack. So as I mentioned, when I was opening it, the the gun cannon's cannon is actually pretty, f it's actually pretty sloppy and very easy to move. I'm afraid it, I was afraid that uh, if you move it too often, it will eventually lose up, but I don't see that problem at the moment. The thruster down here, they give, give you a repaint and it looks quite nice and no flaws. Thank God for that. There's no scratch of the paints. And then, you know, the, the cannon on the top is just acting like the normal ones. All right, now we're going to take a look of the accessory of the act the uh, gun cannon detector. So first, as I said, the fist tent is already equipped on the gun plus. So the first option we got is this pair of uh, open hands. So you can you can put those on the gun plus and then, you know, make it hold the cannon on the back, just like in the anime. The second one we got is a trigger hand, which you can put in the rival in it. It comes a pair, of course, and this is a trigger hand. The third thing that we got is the is the action base connector. As you can see, unlike most of the RoboDamage, this time it's a different shape. It's not circle anymore on the bottom or neither the square. It's a different pieces here. So what you need is if you have another RoboDamage, you grab the action base, like the very bad action base and just stick it in there and that would be fine, I think. And lastly, what we got is the rival. So the rival, as we can see on uh, in the opening scene, so the only thing that is painted is the scope here. None of not none of the uh, rival part can actually move. Kind of sad actually, and it just sits there. It's like I thought this extra handle can be moved, but it's actually fixed. So it's kind of a little bit of disappointing when you have a rival that absolutely just stand there and can't even move. All right, now we're gonna do a little test. So we're going to test about actually the centerpiece here. Can it actually stick on the ground when I try to do the, um, when I try to do the position where it kneel down and shoot. So first I'm going to need to change the position of the legs, of course. So let's just do a quick change of the position. So now it should kneel like that. And then now we're going to need to extend the middle unit, just like, just like what the instruction manual said, it stabilizes the gun cannon's movement. So we're going to need to twist it around. Just make sure it laid out flat and then do it like that. So as you can see, it's actually pretty stable and actually worked like this. So all you have to do is just switch around the position on the legs and there you go. So now when you put on, when, when you move the hand and then, you know, just put those open hands on the cannon and it will actively recreate the scene where the gun can then kneel down in the anime and then start to shoot those Xeon MS uh, that riding the booster in the sky. So I think this thing actually works, but I don't think that actually without this thing, it was still kneel down and pretty stable. So I guess that only works in the anime role, not the gunplay role. Cause before when I just, before I, you know, switch this thing around and then let it touch the ground, it's still pretty stabilized. So I don't, so if you, if you think this part is kind of weird or ugly, you can just not extend this part because it's still going to stay, the f because it's going to still stay completely fine and stabilize without this stabilizing unit when you kneel down and making your poses. All right, guys, this is the end of the review. It's a quick, it's a very quick review because there's not much accessory or anything special to talk about this gun cannon detector. It don't have much accessory like the other Gundams or uh, other kind of MS. But this time, I might say though, I'm a little bit disappointed, but not because of the arms articulation, of the because of the legs articulation. The legs only give you a 90 degree span. It's actually limited a lot of possibility of the possible poses that the gun can detect the deck can do, but uh, we are fine about it. And seriously, now I think the like the, the shooting position stabilizer, so at the middle of the waist here, I think it's a, it looks a bit weird. For me, it was, the design looks a bit weird. I would prefer not to have that. Plus, it's 
let's just say the joints on it is pretty hard to 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 rotate it around because sometimes I'm I'm afraid I actually will break it. <laughs> and then other than that, I, the the there's one last thing that I don't quite like is the backpacks joint. Why? Because it's a little bit sloppy, and I always afraid. I I I know this is not a handheld weapon. It's just mounted on the backpack, and I always afraid that sometimes it will drop. But uh, it's just my over concern, so it's fine about that. Um, overall, though, I would say though this is just a so so robo damage. It's not really like very shocking or very worth to buy. I would just say if you're limited on money and you never taste a feeling of robo damage is is fine because this robo damage is pretty cheap actually, and I would say though, um, if you a big fan of the gun cannon or mass production MS, you probably should buy this if you like the small scale version because out there we have a little bit better version which is the RE100. I personally think the RE100 will be better than the robo damage version because the robo damage version um. Yes, it gives you decals, but it never tell you it never told you where to put it on. I try to add I want to add more details on it, but I just don't know which sign supposed to go to where. And I personally think the RG one hundred will probably do better on the decals and and is a is a is a larger scale, so people are gonna enjoy it more. Uh, but if you like small scale and you particularly like this mobile suit, I suggest you Robo Damashi. You can just buy one and then you know have a ha, just put it in your shelf and you know have a look at it. And there's another version is from the Zeta MSV. Is the red, red and black version. Personally, I think that version is pretty bad. I mean the color version. I don't quite like that red color. It's it's, it, yeah. I know it's it's the same color as the original gun cannon, but it's just missed the meaning of mass production. Like I feel like mass production should be a little bit of low key instead of using red. It's such a shine color. So I kind of like this navy color of the mass production type. So that is basically my opinion about this robot damage. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye.